This is going to be for the 1st until the 3rd of December. Let's get straight into it. I'm super excited to be stepping into some new energy. It's a new month. And yeah, let's see what's going on. Any information you need will be listed in the description. And let's start with just the overall arching energy. So we have two cards that came up. I'm going to take them both. We have manifest and flow Aries manifest and flow. So right off the bat, this time frame feels like you're coming in blazing. Okay. You guys are a trail, what trail, trail blazer coming into this month. If I can talk and you guys are on go now with me getting tongue tied. I feel like I have to say this. Make sure with you trailblazing, you coming into this month, having this fire and things are just flowing to you effortlessly that you're not just so much on the go that you're missing important details. OK, a lot of you are also in full awareness of how you kind of control the um, the energy that kind of like comes up in the month of December. You kind of make or break your month as a whole. You could be like unconsciously manifesting certain people too into your life. This could even be new people, like new friends, family members who you haven't spoken to in a while. It's like certain people are coming out the woodworks. You guys already know how it is with holiday time. People start missing you. They want to return. All right, let me move this up just a little. People want your attention, all of that. So you could be unconsciously manifesting certain people back into your life, people who you didn't necessarily expect to ever hear from. And this is not just centered around love. Now getting deeper into this present energy, I have the judgment card. So this is an awakening, a personal awakening that's happening, realizations that are happening where you're like, aha, this is what I need to do. This is how I need to move on that. And you're making some final calls here. You could also be making some very permanent decisions within this time frame or you're about to. And this could impact like the course of of life for you. This could be deciding to move long distance to start a new job. This could be you guys starting a new job and you just don't know that that's the catalyst for, you know, true abundance. But I see you making some very powerful decisions that will impact your future um, in a good way or a bad way. It really depends on what you decide to do here. Like I said, this is resurrection energy. People like wanting your attention and spirit is saying, look, you need to get on your high horse and not pay attention to that at all. Now, what I see in terms of the overall theme with the Prince of Dis or the Pay, not the page, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles, there's a need for you to understand like you guys are in the process of rebuilding. So in this process of rebuilding, it's a gradual process. So if this is rebuilding your finances, rebuilding a relationship, Okay, rebuilding your personal trust, whatever this is that you're trying to build, it's a gradual thing. And I think that the overall theme is going to teach you that with consistency, determination, also a level of understanding how patience goes hand in hand with success, then that's when you will see mastery in that energy, but also success. All right, spirit is saying, be eager to learn especially when it comes to mastering like a personal craft or like with a business. Hmm. Now what's hidden? What's hidden below the surface? I do have the king of cups. So this could be unresolved feelings, feelings for a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, or just really any Zodiac sign. Um, this could also be like things that aren't being said in your relationship. You and your person may be feeling some type of way about certain things and you're just not saying it. It's just not a conversation in order to kind of keep the peace. You don't want to like disturb the peace of your relationship. So you could be not saying anything. 
Um, there could be a mother-in-law influencing things around you in some way, whether that's your mother-in-law or your mother influencing your relationship, but I'm seeing that also as being a hidden influence. I also see like your desire for like personal success is really what's catapulting you during this time frame. And also like you finally getting it, how you may be needing to take care of yourself at the same time while trying to strive for personal success as well. Because sometimes we can get into this extremist energy of being so much on go that you're not taking care of your emotional well-being or your feelings or nurturing yourself. Now, the advice for you with the Hermit card, there's a need for you to go into a space of introspection with anything that you may be feeling funny about. The answers that you're seeking really come from within. OK, only, you know, how you feel and what you don't want to allow or put up with. And the answers are, like I said, just going to come from within here. Um, also with the hermit card, this is going on a journey of self, like soul searching and making sure you're not allowing outside people around you to impact that journey of soul searching. You may have people around you who don't understand your spiritual nature and they could like, you know, put you in a very vulnerable space, especially with you like relearning and, and regathering yourself in a sense or regenerating, I should say. Also understand like at times things fall apart. Like what once was doesn't mean that it's going to forever be. So if you feel like, you know, maybe it's bad that you want to leave a relationship that you don't feel connected to anymore, maybe because there's nothing wrong with it per se, but you just don't feel connected anymore. You have to do what's best for you. And for some of you, it is just very negative. It's just like you have a hard time disconnecting from something without feeling like a level of, I don't know, regret or guilt in doing so. But the possible challenge that may come up, I do have the star card and this could be an Aquarius specifically, or this could be like the healing process that you're going through. It's not easy, especially if this has anything to do with like childhood trauma, um, a soulmate connection that went left. Someone who you feel, because I'm getting this energy of you still feeling connected to someone more so on a spiritual level, even though you guys haven't spoken in a while. And then also your goals. It's not going to be just a walk in the park when it comes to achieving the things that you want to achieve. It's going to take a lot of dedication and focus and also personal faith. And sometimes our faith is tested. You could have some people around you don't agree with your belief system and yeah, don't let them judge you or shame you into like, I don't know, feeling some type of way. But anyways, when it comes to what's ahead, I do have the eight of swords. So this is you. Hmm. So you could go into this mindset of like, just not wanting to deal with certain things and in turn, this could keep you captive in certain situations. So a good example of this could be like you ignoring the state of your relationship. You, the truth is all around you when it comes to it, but you may be keeping a blindfold on just to kind of like ignore what's really going on with this connection, how you feel. You could also feel like Even with you having full clarity on what to do, you're just in a tough spot when it comes to like some sort of cheater or liar. This is also having to confront something that you've been ignoring for a while. Okay, this could be something that you personally do with your finances, what have you. It's something that needs to be confronted I see you guys also like learning new things, feeling inspired and fresh new energy. You could be having to um, confront like some health issues as well. But 
this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective. If you took something from this reading, thumbs it up, subscribe, and I will see you later. <laughs>